Willkommen Sie and welcome. I really, really hope that all of you are doing wonderful in this episode three. Episode three already? How exciting. If you haven't seen the past two episodes, check them out. The first one I go over how to get on the racetrack and the second one I go over how to take care of your motorcycle gear. In episode three, we go over vision and body position. And I'll link those two together because you look where you want to go and your feet take you there. Man, that's kind of profound. I wonder if anybody said that before. I'm sure a thousand times. I'll start off with the eyes. Where you want to go. I'll show you some examples of what I'm talking about, how you want to look through the turn and how you want to look where you're going. It's a weird feel. What was that? It's a weird feeling at first to not be looking straight on where your motorcycle is pointed and to be looking at the side and your motorcycle be pointing forward. In this example, you can see the motorcycle coming towards you while the eyes are looking away towards the right. So you want to look through the turn. In 2008, I had a rider in front of me and he had crashed. It was the first crash I had witnessed and I thought it was wild. The noise, him sliding across the pavement. I was so fixated on him that I ended up crashing as well too, following right there behind him. <laughs> the perfect example of looking where you want to go. So you want to look through the turn instead of looking at the crash. As far as body position goes, let's go to a location where I can demonstrate a little bit better than out here, wherever we are. Body position is unique, like us. Everybody has a different style, so do what's comfortable to you, depending on how bendy you are, your physical limitations. I like to start off with the feet. It's what moves you around the motorcycle. It's what makes it a lot easier to move around the motorcycle if you're set in the right spot. And it's also more efficient to be moving around this way. Riding on the balls of your feet is gonna help you move around the motorcycle a lot easier. If you're riding on your heels, it's gonna be a lot more effort to move around the motorcycle and you're not gonna have as good of a feeling with the motorcycle. If you ride on the balls of your feet, you can absorb the bumps and feel the motorcycle a lot better than if you were to ride here on the heels. When it comes to cornering, having your toes on the inside foot peg also gives you more ground clearance so you don't scrape your toe sliders than if you were to have the foot down here on the inside. For the outside foot, this is where I keep it. I like to lock my heel into the foot peg. You can also ride with the balls of your feet on the outside as well. Don't judge the sweatpants over the boot motorcycle look. The feet work in tandem with the legs. Imagine that. So if you have your feet set up the right way, you can move around the motorcycle a lot easier with your legs using the gas tank. So you can pull yourself up with the outer leg on the motorcycle when you're coming out of the turns. And what that does, it alleviates all the pressure that you put on the handlebars when you're coming out of the turns. With a rock solid base, you wanna have nice spaghetti noodle arms. You wanna keep your arms light. Let the motorcycle work for you. Outside arm drapes over the gas tank. Inside arm points down. Put your head down. Loose inputs so that the motorcycle can correct itself. Let's look at some real world, real world examples on this beast. <laughs> shots you can see the feet working together inside foot on the toes and the outside foot locked and the transitions coming up pause the video to see where the feet are in each turn at each lean angle the infamous bum cam when it comes to your bum, a good starting point is one cheek off the saddle and one cheek on the saddle. Again, everyone is different and everyone is unique, so do what's comfortable. The reason why we do this is the more we hang off the motorcycle, the less lean angle we put on the motorcycle. So we have more contact patch on the tires. Notice how relaxed the hands are manipulating the controls. You wanna pretend like you're holding an egg. Don't crush that egg. And this is gonna help mitigate arm pump and give you a little bit more feedback with the motorcycle. As you're exiting the corner, stand the motorcycle up with your outer leg, drop the head, and send it. In conclusion, don't ride the motorcycle like I did in 2007. If 
you notice the pegs are scraping on the ground, I've maximized the lean angle of the motorcycle. So I can't go any faster or lean the motorcycle any further. Fast forward many thousands of laps later, goodness gracious, and you can see how the motorcycle isn't leaned over as much. Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you learned something. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments. Please use your clutch or throttle hand to like this video. It helps me out immensely, and it should only take about two seconds. That's all. Please do it. I would really appreciate it. Check out episode one and episode two, and I'll see you next week for episode four. Ciao!